everyone. Welcome to this segment of Mountain Starter Garage. Today we're at the Edge Power Sports in Salt Lake City, their full line Articat dealer. Uh, we're going to meet with Brandon here, who's the local climb rep. We're going to talk about the climb layering system to keep you both warm and cool while you're out slaying the powder this winter. I find myself getting really cold riding up the trail for the five, 10 miles in during the day in the mornings when it's five degrees and having to put on a lot of clothing during that time to keep warm up the trail. But once I get up to altitude and start playing in the powder in the trees, I get so hot and sweaty, I gotta start pulling layers off. So we're gonna talk about this layering system and what Climb recommends and maybe give you some options of what you can do to keep yourself both warm and cool this winter while you're out slaying the powder. So come inside and join us at this Edge Power Sports. Welcome everyone to Mountain Slater Garage. We're here at the Edge Power Sports in Salt Lake City. Today we're here with Brandon from Climb. We're gonna talk about what you can wear underneath your mono suit or your bib and pants if you wear them, because most of those are only shells. There's no insulation in those. So on those really cold days, we're gonna need stuff underneath. In the morning when it's super cold compared to the afternoon when the sun's out and it's maybe 30 degrees and you're working real hard, you want different layers and be able to take some stuff off so you can stay cool when you're out riding, shredding the powder and stay nice and warm when you're going down the trail. So we're gonna talk about Climb's layering system. That's perfect, Rich. Thanks for, thanks for introducing that. It's, the layering system is way more important than people actually understand. Um, it's, it's no different than if you go and modify your snowmobile and you don't change the clutching. You know, it doesn't really make sense. It's got to be a cohesive uh, mm -hmm. system. So when you're going to go spend a lot of money on your outerwear, especially with Gore-Tex or any other products like that, you need to make sure you have the right things underneath so that the outerwear can perform how it's supposed to. So um, that's why we come up with, we have, we have uh, base layers and we have mid layers. So our base layers are meant to actually keep moisture away from your skin. Um, so any of our base layers, that's exactly what they do. They pull moisture away from our skin so that we can stay warm, right? Right. We always say dry is warm. Um, if you're wet, you have a lot more, you know, issues getting uh, cold. So usually you're either getting cold from the outside in or from the inside out, meaning you're sweating too much and you can't get rid of it, or too much water and air is getting through your outerwear. So um, introducing our, our base layers, we have three different main options in the snow um, that we that you could see at any of your local dealers. So this is what we call our Aggressor 1.0, and there's a women's version called the Solstice as well. But the Aggressor 1.0 is, is, is the thinnest option that we 1. have. 1.0. Yeah, <laughs> 1.0. And, and, and they're all based on, somewhat based on warmth, right? 1.0 is gonna be your thinnest. Mm -hmm. Real thin, like almost like spandex, right? Yeah, that you yeah, wear to the gym. Yep, it's a polyester spandex material. Um, and then you jump up to a 2.0, and you can notice on, on the inside of the 2.0, I'm going to bring it here a little bit closer, there's a little bit of fleece on that now, kind of that small grid pattern fleece. So it's going to be slightly warmer, hence the reason why it's called the 2.0. Um, the other really cool thing about um, the 1.2 is that in the armpits, you actually have 1.0 material. Oh, yeah, so that's really thin. A lot of people don't really understand that. In some of the higher areas where you sweat more, like in your collar and on... Uh, on your armpits, that's actually the 1.0 material, so it's, it's mapped according to heat that your body produces. And then you jump to the 3.0, and I'm gonna bring it a little bit closer as well as you can see, but it's a larger grid pattern. It's very similar in warmth to the 2.0, but you're actually gonna just pull moisture away from your skin slightly quicker mm. with the 3.0 okay. because it's a nylon face, that these ones are a polyester. Okay. But the, the biggest story here is that with the one, two, and three, it's all based on warmth, right? So depending on the day, you can have a one, two, or a three um, to keep you fairly warm, but those are mainly just to pull moisture away from your skin. Um, when, you, when we want to talk about putting insulation into a non-insulated piece, that's where our mid layers come into, into play. So let's say you, know, you unload the, in the Uintas in Utah and it's negative 10. Mm -hmm. It is cold, cold, right? So you're gonna put on your warmer gloves. Maybe you have a 2.0 on this day and then you have a mid layer on this day and it's really warm, right? You're right. Cruising down the trail, you get, you get to where you're riding. Okay, well, now you're up to like 15, 20 degrees. Sun's out, starts to get hot. Well, you can take that mid-layer off, and that makes it an option so you can always regulate your, your body temperature. So with the base layer, the mid-layer, and the outerwear, you can always control your body temperature with your vents, with what you have on, what you take off, um, and it makes it a lot more comfortable out there to have a good experience. Yeah. Now, I've... The mid-layers are really great. I mean, I bought one of these mid-layers a couple years ago, which is this one right here, and it seems, it's almost just like a jacket. It's, yeah, 
Yep, this, but, is a, this is a 150 grams of insulation. So if you wanted to build this into your jacket, it's like wearing a jacket with insulation yeah. in it, right? The great thing about this, on the days when you're starting from the truck at seven in the morning and it's single digits and it's just so cold, you almost don't even want to go. You put this on and you're so nice and warm going up the trail, but when it gets hot and sunny during the end of the day, this thing all compresses into its own pocket and you can just put this in your bag and take this off. You don't have to worry about carrying this jacket around, which is which I have loved on those super cold days. Then I just wear my, my one or my two underneath and it just stays really warm. And so there's a number of different um, mid layers. Like this one isn't quite as warm as the other one we just showed you. This one's called the Inferno jacket. This is probably one of our most popular, most well-selling pieces. It's got a little bit of fleece on the inside can be used casually. Any of the mid layers can be used casually or, you know, for performance, obviously, um, okay. for your insulating layer. Now we've shown you a bunch of upper body stuff. There's there also pants that goes with these. There is pants that go with these as well. So we have, you know, in, in all of our base layers, your one, two, and three, you're going to have a top and you're going to have a bottom that will go with it. And then in all of your other, all of your mid layers, you're going to have an option too. So the Inferno will have an Inferno pant. This is actually a women's piece called the Sundance, which is another mid-layer for the women. Um, and then you're going to have a couple other, you know, options too, where everything kind of has a match depending. So all these um, base layer options, they come in men's and women's, Correct. pretty much all sizes for everybody. Yep. Okay. Yep. All sizes for everybody. The other, the other thing when I was looking at these that I really loved in this base layer pant, because when you put these on, you put some above these, always seem to like ride up your ankles. They have these nice little foot hooks. So you can hook these on the bottom of your foot. There's a little hole, kind of like your thumb hole in your gloves. Or so on you hook them on your foot, and they just keep those from riding up on your shins, which is really nice on that piece. So um, any of these pieces you can buy on any of the online stores, or we're at the Edge Power Sports in Salt Lake City. I um, want to thank Brandon for coming and explaining the base and mid layers for us, and I hope you guys have a great winter this year out there slaying the powder.